Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so here we are on the 15th of September 2019 to analyze the profile of last week with the swing trading strategy and the pending order after that. So I installed the profile that I sent last week. You can verify everything on Telegram, of course. Here it is. So let's launch my MT4 and let's start analyzing the swing trading trades for last week. So let's start with odd pair. So we had this nice level on Friday creating a perfect pin bar. Retracement entry is right here, stop loss is right here and this one is a loss. That was a level from the profile of last week. So this trade, first closing trade. Then the price is vi violated, broken up. And since this level is broken up, support become resistance. And eventually you could have taken this level after this specific pin bar right here. This is a large pin bar. You can take the retracement entry, stop loss is right here. And it made, uh, tag, let me check, 10 pip stop loss, maybe 11. And it made 34, so it's a winning trade. 3 reward. And that's the only trade of the week for AudioSD key who didn't move so much. Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. So we have during the week this white line dotted is a very weak level and created a dodgy plus a pin bar. So we might have one losing trade right here. Right here. Dodgy and the pin bar just after right here. And the breakout is a losing trade. So two loss. And the next level didn't make a correct candlestick pattern. So we have no trade after that. Odd CHF, nothing touch during the week, so there is nothing there. Odd New Zealand, so odd New Zealand, we have a perfect pin bar right here at the level, and this is a losing trade because the retracement entry has been broken up. So one more loss, and after no trade at all on this, then let's look at odd GPY so odd GPY what happened is we have this candlestick which can be considered as a pin bar so it's a losing trade and after at the level we have a railroad track right here same body size going up and going down so this breakout of the railroad track can be a trade or eventually at the middle and the stop loss should be three pips above the high which hasn't been triggered so retracement entry is still in and breakout still in and it's around uh, maybe half loss for one breakout trade and uh, at break even for the retracement entry so no trade is definitely finished on this one so I count nothing no lose, no loss, no win. Now let's look at Odd Singapore. So Odd Singapore, this was last week. And this week, specifically touching the trend line, we have no real pattern. Yeah, actually, we have one pattern, but it's against the strength of the market. The market is going up, so we expect to buy, and uh, nothing formed according to the arrow right here at the specific level. So no trade. Let's look at Euro odd. So Euro odd. Euro odd. We have a doji forming at the level on the beginning of the week. Breakout of the doji could have been taken, and this one is a losing trade. Then after the price nearly touched the second level as a pending. Actually, I took this one, and uh, but it's a pending order strategy. So no trade. No trade additional to this specific. Uh, side so only one loss uh, gbp odd now gbp odd didn't touch any level so now let's look at 
CAD CHF Singapour and gold silver. So CAD CHF didn't touch. CAD JPY touch. And uh, we have a trade actually. This is Doji. So the breakout of the Doji right here. Stop loss right here. And it made on this breakout trade. Stop loss is 26. So we expect 78 around here and didn't make it yet and we are at 2 reward. Actually what happened is when you reach 2 reward you put your stop loss to break even and this trade would have been uh, taken out at break even. So there is actually uh, no trade. I made a re-entry at the level confirmed with the 38 Fibonacci and this breakout trade right here is a bit little, more little in uh, stop loss 23 and it made 49. So we have two reward right now, so now my stop loss is at break even. So one stopped out at break even and the second validate entry. It form a M, M pattern on the 4 hour chart, which is very powerful. So the second entry is still valid on this one and it's running. So on the account, no loss, no win. Let's switch to CHF JPY. CHF JPY. Last week, so we have a doji right here, but it's a very big body doji, so not very strong for me. And the breakout of this doji made like 26. It made it made two rewards, so the stop loss would have been to break even and stopped out break even, so no win, no loss on this specific one. CHF Singapore. So CHF Singapore, we have the trend line. First pin bar right here, so entry at the middle of the pin bar, and this is a tight stop loss. It's like 15 stop loss, and it made uh, 49. So this one is a winning trade actually at the trend line beginning of the week. So one more win, and then what do we have? We have a pin bar forming at this level, which is a loss. So one loss, and the next level created created a doji. So the breakout of the doji would have been right here, taken out, and after it creates uh, kind of a pin bar right here with a very long wick because the chart is quite wide. Price made a lot of. Yeah, I can't reduce it more than that, but you see the rejection is around. 25 pips rejection at the level, so for me this was a good setup to enter. So my entry was at the close of this candle, which, which is a retracement entry, and it made uh, tac tac tac. So 24 pips stop loss, and it made 72, which represent exactly three reward. So worst case scenario, you finish break even when you put your stop loss, or you make one reward if you trade your stop and it achieved 20, 24 times 3 so it's a winning trade so I count this one as a winning trade so so far we have 3 win and 6 losses which still make us in profit of 3 reward if you use 2% it's 6% profit already now let's look at Singapore JPY so this one was tricky JPY pairs were tricky this week strong level didn't react it as we expected so the first level created a pin bar, the breakout or the retracement are both losing trade, so it's a losing trade additional to that. And the next level creating a doji didn't broke down, so no entry right here, but after it created another doji and this one broke down, so the stop loss is a bit above, and this one is running, eventually 20% uh, of the size losing for now, or uh, no, no, that's it. There is no retracement entry when it's a doji, so that's it. But the trade is not stopped out, so it's still running trade. Now let's look at gold. Gold, we have a very nice trade right here. Nearly touch the level, when it's one pip like that, uh, I count the pattern, and it's a railroad track. Big body down, big body up. Retracement entry right here, stop loss right here, and it made like six times your, your reward. Since we take three, this is a winning trade. 
58 stop loss and it made 350 pips. So it's another winning trade on gold, middle of the week. Now let's look at silver. Silver, I don't think. No, anything didn't touch. Anything touch? Nothing touch. We are on uh, silver euro. And nothing touch until Friday. No pattern, so no trade. USD PLN Polonia. There is uh, no pattern, but it touched the level. But aside of that, no pattern, so no trade. And USD MXN, same. Didn't touch any level. We were in a very good trade from last week, from last month, sorry. But that's it for this one. Now let's look at Euro pairs. So, Euro. Touch our level, but this is a pending trade. So on the swing trading strategy, no trades. Then Eurocad. So Eurocad played a tricky with us because so he touched this line, which we can take as a buy. It make an angle thing candle going up. So our entry is retracement entry right here. Stop loss is here, and it trigger. But during the big news, so you might have avoided this one, but I count it anyway as a loss. And after this trade was a very nice trade, but it was for pending order and it made like 10 times the, 10 times the risk. We will count that after. So that's it. Let's look at Euro CHF. So Euro CHF, we have a very beautiful trade. First, we have a losing trade because it made this nice pin bar, but little body breakdown or retracement. The retracement is a winning trade. I'd notice that. So we have one one winning trade. But the breakout, since the breakout would have been 15 pips, it made only 38. Oh, it's a break even actually. So this one is a break even. And what happened just after, so there is no loss actually on this one, eventually one win if it's a retracement. And I will count it because the retracement on the pin bar is uh, advised. And then what we have is a very nice another pin bar. So which makes this specific, a specific good M on the 4-hour chart. Very powerful. And as you can see, the breakout of this pin bar made a largely three reward. And I advise anyway to take two reward usually, but it made, uh, tac tax 100 pips and the stop loss was only 16. So it made uh, four and a half reward. So that's another winning trade and a beautiful one. Then what do we have? Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand. So we have in the beginning of the week. This is more of a dodgy. So eventually breakout entry and stop loss below. And we have just after that a pin bar, which can have been, t which could have been taken as a retracement. Let me check. Twenty three and twenty eight. Yeah, you could have entered that. 48% in the retracement entry and it made 30 it made 3 rewards so this one is a winning trade we can count one loss to be safe the first might be a losing if you didn't place your stop loss correctly which should be 2 to 5 pips below depending on the volatility of the pair since this one as you can see the so 3 time ADR is 41 414 which is a very volatile pair you might have placed your stop loss 5 pips below the, the spike so I count one loss for sure, and I count one win. And after, it nearly touched the second level, but uh, didn't for a few pips during the news and after spiked in the other direction. So let's look at Euro JPY. So Euro JPY, we have a white level, but didn't touch and reverse just before making an angle thing. But since it didn't touch, I don't take this pattern, and after, the price just spike at it and go all the way down so this is not really takeable since we don't have any real touch of the level and the power is down so we expect to sell this specific pair so what do we have after that we have a very nice pin bar right here we can count this one as a loss and after we have another one right here pin bar confirmed so the entry at the retracement right here stop loss right here and this one is running in profit so worst case scenario, we have one loss on this pair and one running that I don't, that I don't count for now. Euro Singapore. Euro Singapore <laughs> touched the level, but it was a uh, pending order for this one. So no trades. And after it's a trend line already touched a lot. So I didn't uh, use this one as a trading. It was just uh, an insight. 
Euro Hong Kong, nothing. Euro knock. Ah, Euro knock. This one was nice. This one was a very beautiful winning trade. So we have a very nice pin bar right here. You can enter at the retracement at the end of this specific pin bar. Stop loss below. This one made three times, so it's a winning trade. And what was even more beautiful is after it come back lower and made two very nice doji. And the break of this doji is like four or five with rewards, so it's a very nice one. And after, when it comes back, you have this specific one, but since you have the Euro news just after, you better not take this specific candlestick. But the spike rejected all the way and fly up after that. So it could have been eventually for a riskier trader style trading the news to take this one as a buy. When you trade the news, it's always be better to follow the, the daily bias. That's it for Euro, let's go on GBP. So GBP, let's start with GBP USD during this week. So what happened was very nice on Monday, but very quick. The price was here and touched right here and spiked up. So this was a very nice bullish pin bar, very strong. So if you place your entry at 50%, it might have triggered, but let me check the number of pips. If you enter right here. You have 52 pips stop loss and 35. Now even the retracement didn't touch. But what touch is the breakout entry? But this one was riskier because you risk around 80 pips stop loss. And the price made so far uh, 180, which is too reward. And when you take a breakout, I suggest, uh, I strongly advise you take two rewards. So this one for me is a winning trade anyway. So very nice one on GBP early on Monday morning. Now let's look at GBP, CHF, uh, don't forget anything, no nothing, 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 ah yeah, no I forget, I can count one loss right here, this is a confirmed pin bar, breakout or even retracement, this is a losing trade, so I count it as a loss, so far we have uh, 10 win trade and 11 losses which make uh, already very good profits for us. Switch on GBP CHF. So GBP CHF, I assume my power was down and I waited a pattern right here and uh, eventually I have this nice bearish pin bar going down so I have sold the market right here stop loss above and I think my stop loss triggered and eventually it didn't make two rewards so it's still stuck in the middle and this is a losing trade so one more losing trade and that's it for GBPCHF now GBPCAD so GBPCAD we had a level here but we have a lot of attempt right here reject, reject, reject and even here one, two, three, four so after that uh, usually it's a breakout in one direction or the other so it breaks the level, doesn't make any pattern anyway, and now it's at the second level. So we wait for a pattern forming tomorrow on Monday to take a sell on this specific level. Now let's look at GBP, JPY, I know, GPY, GPY, GPY. So we have no level at the bottom, but we have this level, Doji, breakdown and uh, it made maybe one reward before 60 yeah one reward so we have one losing trade right here but the second leg of the m as you can see right here it make a m right here so the second leg made a very little doji and this doji i will tell you how many it's only 30 pips and it made 92 so this is a winning trade nearly three reward or eventually break even but no loss there so we have one loss and one win making very nicely three reward then uh tac tac nothing happened breaks the level going up gbp new zealand now nothing touch expect except on friday and friday no pattern so no trade gbp singapore GBP Singapore was very nice, but we have both direction arrow, so I was expecting sell and buy. And what did the price, what happened? So we have one week here, hammer, but not touching the level. 
one pin bar with a strong pin right here eventually you have an entrance at the middle of this one stop loss right here and how, many, how much did it do? Oh, we have 46 for 132 uh, which doesn't make exactly 3 rewards so it's a break even trade for this one you could have eventually taken the 200 EMA as a as a target profit but I will not count it but that's how you would have taken this specific trade Eventually the 50 EMA can be a first target and the second target can be the 100 EMA, the white line right here. So that's it for this one. Let's look at Euro GBP. So Euro GBP, we had a nice bearish pin bar right here. But I was expecting the power to go up so I didn't take this trade. And after it touched outside the envelope, so pending order, made the 3 reward and come back down. So this candlestick is like, I don't know. Like 70 pips for Euro GBP is quite a lot, so I don't take a trade on this specific pair with that. Now let's look at uh, GBP try, nothing touch, and New Zealand pairs. So, NZD USD. It played with us towards the beginning of the week. So we have this angle thing right here. Add the 200 EMA right here plus the level dotted line so you can enter at the retracement right here the stop loss is like let's say 12 12 pips and it made 27 only so it's a break even trade for this first and after what happened nicely was this very beautiful pin bar and you can take eventually the breakout or the retracement and this is a, a total win trade so one break even for this one and the second is a winning trade later in the week. Now let's look at New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CAD made two nice pin bar, one bullish, one bearish. But there is a round number here, so I took it but it's a bit riskier. It's better if it touched the level, so I don't count it. But this is a nice winning trade. Huh? After retracement, it made three reward very easily. Beautiful trade. Now let's look at New Zealand CHF. New Zealand CHF, pending order 1, but this entry was break even I think. So this one made an angle thing, you enter at the middle, stop loss right here, this is a losing trade. Then just after you see on the forward chart a very beautiful pin bar. Pin bar, breakout, the problem is it didn't make so much reward. Stop loss is like 19 and it made only 36 so this one is another losing trade because it didn't make two reward before retracing and after for the third time that's when we take our winning trade you have the ingle thing right here plus the pin bar right here and you can even take the retracement entry this is your entry or eventually the breakout entry so breakout entry you have a lot of pips so tax 39 it made uh, it made 1.8 reward already, so it can be a win because it's a breakout, very strong uh, entry. And the retracement made 3 reward already, so I count this one as a winning trade. Then New Zealand JPY. Um. So what happened? Beginning of the week, we have a very small railroad track right here. And this one, in the worst case scenario, I count it as a loss. Then you have this pin bar right here and I took it so I will count it as a loss also. So it's another loss. And after at the level we have a railroad track taking at the exit or at the retracement and this one is a winning trade. So you have eventually worst case scenario two loss recovered and in profit after taking the, the next level. And it's a win. So still one reward up on this specific pair. Now let's look at Knock GPY. Knock GPY, we had a very nice trade right here, but it finished break even. So a nice trade, breakout of this specific doji, breaking the level and retracing. This is a perfect trade. Uh, four pips stop loss, and it made like eight. So this is a break even trade for this one. And after we have an angle thing, so this one is a losing trade in worst case scenario. And after, what do we have? We have this spike right here followed by this specific pin bar. So this pin bar and trade at the retracement right here, stop loss right here. 
and this one is running in profit for now four and it's around one profit for now I don't count it but I just show you you could have been still in a good trade right now now let's look at USD to finish this swing strategy so USD CAD as I told I gave on telegram Monday this specific white line and let's see what happened so made a very big doji week up and down didn't touch the level so I don't take this trade but after made this one and this angle thing plus this pin bar right here this is eventually an entry at the breakout or at the retracement stop loss is below right here to be safe and it made three reward whatever you took so this is a winning trade and no loss for this specific currency pair now let's look at USD JPY USD JPY you have this nice doji at the breakout just after the level this is a losing trade after we have two doji at the level broken and lost another lose and that's it actually because this one is quite far from the level so I would not have taken it again so that's it for USD JPY and now USD CHF nothing touch USD Singapore so what happened here so power is down and up and we have a trend line this trend line created a doji this trend line get, created a doji right here eventually breakout of this doji is a winning trade following this strong weekly trend, trend line that hasn't been touched so much in the past so it's a good level and after you have this series of pin bar so eventually you have one stopped out and the second you're still in so there is on this one one win one loss worst case scenario and one we are in actually we don't know if it's a losing or winning we'll see that next week now let's look on USD ZAR USD ZAR dodgy but didn't break up so this one is cancelled and we have this railroad track you see the price test the 800 EMA even if there is a level of support and resistance just before and that's our entry actually eh? you can take a breakout out of this or retracement and this one is still running but still in Friday evening I don't advise to trade so much on this time so there is nothing to count here SEC GPY no trade USD Polonia ah we already see it touch it but no no trade USD DKK no USD XH check that oh this one made a nice pattern pin bar both at the 200 EMA which is a very nice one entry is here and it made 1.5 reward so far it's against this specific strength so maybe you take on Monday or Tuesday two reward it will be enough and that's it for this one or you protect your entry you put your stop loss to break even to be sure to not close this train and that's that was it for this week and I don't count it since it's not finished and oh this one was very nice USD HUF you have this exotic pair and made a nice M pattern this one on a daily and reverse very very nicely and on the forward chart what you can see is this bullish candle nice body and after that you see this very beautiful pin bar you can have entered at the retracement right here or eventually at the breakout and this is a winning trade so this one is valid and that's it for the swing trading strategy first let me give you the account of all the trades so there is 18 21 losing trade and 12 12 and 17 winning trade the winning trade wins three times so 17 times 3 51 51 reward minus 21 losing uh, setup with one reward means 30 reward of profit for the week 30 reward times 2% it is 60% of your account using the swing trading strategy still rock every weeks cheers guys so now let's analyze the pending order which is very nice and it rocks every week also but I just don't take the time to analyze the result so just check from now 
so this one outside the envelope uh, 65 so we have one losing trade if you want to review the, uh, the rules of the strategy you just watch my previous video all is explained so we have one losing trade right here because it broke the stop loss now on this one this one is inside the envelope so no trades and this one didn't touch the level actually it touched the Fibonacci level 59 right here yeah but maybe n would not have triggered so I don't count it anyway but this one is a potential very nice win USD nothing touch USD PLN it didn't touch the level so I don't count Sec GPY nothing this one all is inside the envelope so no trade USD Singapore USD Singapore touch this line on Thursday so the stop loss at the line e entry it made 6 pips against it and the stop loss is 12 uh, 14 pips and the reward is 12 times 3 36 so it made 30 and same rules when you arrive to 2 reward you place to break even so this is a break even trade no win no loss let's look at USDCHF no trade outside the envelope USDGPY no trade outside the envelope during the week USDCAD USDCAD this was was this one was borderline but it's inside the envelope that it touched the level so I don't count it and that's it so let's go to New Zealand it's faster to check just uh, if it's triggered or not so this one is outside the envelope we are on knock GPY and uh, it touched during this day so let's check stop loss would have been 5 pips and 15 pips uh, target profit so it made 1 pips and it made like around 10 pips so this one would have been still break even it's not really a losing trade so no trade to count NZD JPY <coughs> so outside the envelope we have this one right here and the second one right here so NZD JPY touch the level and made only 15 one reward and after break so it's a losing trade and the second so you see touch the level I always pay, place my penny one one pips below so this one triggered obviously and it's a winning trade 20 pips stop loss and 60 pips profit so first real winning trade now let's look at NZDCHF so NZDCHF I I modified before this one happened on telegram I sent the level and the level was the end of those two spikes right here so that was the level for the pending order strategy and let's look at what happened you can check all is on telegram huh? so the stop loss would have been 17 18 and the tac, tac, 18 times 3 around 60 pips it made it anyway yeah see the maximum it went against was 16 pips and the stop loss is 18 and after it wins so it's a winning trade now let's look at NZD CAD nothing touch and that the USD 1 2 3 4 5 it touched but it was last week and from last week it is a winning trade but I don't count it so let's go on GBP so GBP try nothing touch Euro GBP this is a pending order and this is a beautiful trade outside the envelope at the 200 EMA it made uh, attack 7 16 pips against it and the stop loss would have been 23 and it made 80 when the target profit would have been 63 so another winning trade beautiful one GBP Singapore there is a win but from last week oh this one was out outside actually and it's on Monday so it touched made only 20 pips against it and made 130 this is a winning trade another one on GBP let's do GBP New Zealand nothing touch GBP JPY it was not it was at the envelope so I don't take it I take only outside so no trade GBP CAD um, GBP CAD we have one trade right here triggered but we don't know the outcome so I don't count anything GBP CHF GBP CHF 
This one has had the envelope, so you don't take the level. And I even advise on Telegram to not take this one. And nearly touched the second level right on Friday, but didn't touch it, so no trade either. Now GBP USD. GBP USD. Let's zoom in. No level outside the envelope touch, except this one on Friday, but it's before, so it didn't really touch. So no trade and euro. So euro knock outside the envelope. We have this first two sh touch right here. So you don't take the first level, which is at the envelope. You take the second level, and the stop loss would have been uh, 200 pips, and it made only 17, 170 against it. So it's uh, it didn't trigger the stop loss, and it made uh, 57. Let me check on the one hour chart. Yeah, it made 55, 55, so it would have been break even for this trade. No win, no loss. Euro Hong Kong, same. Euro Singapore, well, Euro Singapore, it's obviously a win. Touch exactly the level, made, uh, made, how much? It made 17 pips when the stop loss was 25, and it made pff, 180, so a very huge win on this one. Euro JPY, so we have this level, but didn't touch outside the envelope, so we don't count. And there was this very nice level, that's the one outside the envelope, who win, but I don't count it, it wasn't on my profile. And we have a level outside the envelope, after the news, and this one, so we have a stop loss of uh, 30 pips, didn't trigger, and we are a bit in profit right now. But it's not finished, so nothing to count. Euro New Zealand. Um, Euro New Zealand touched this line outside the envelope. It made 100 pips, which is only two reward, so this is a break even trade. And after it missed a few pips the level and made a lot of money. So nothing to count because it didn't touch exactly the level. Euro CHF. So Euro CHF, let me zoom in. Outside the envelope touch the level, so this is a validated trade, it made 14 pips and it's 20, yeah the maximum is 17 pips and our stop loss is 20, and after that it made like uh, 100, so this is obviously a winning trade. So far we have 6 wins and only 2 losses on this specific strategy. Eurocad, 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 Inside the envelope, no trade, inside the envelope, outside the envelope, touch and spike up. One more winning on this one. Euro USD. Euro USD touch exactly the level, it touch it. So this one you can check on the daily. Outside the envelope of course, at the level. Spike winning one. Now let's look at CAD, CHF, Singapore and gold, silver. So, USD PLN. Uh, USD PLN, we have a trade actually on the pending order. Touch the level, react right now, it's in profit. Uh, the stop loss would have been 100, and uh, now it is 90, so one reward profit right now. Xag. Xag is inside the envelope, so no trade. Xag euro. So, silver, silver, USD no trade gold 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 i think it didn't exactly touch so this is a no trade so it's sad because it's a very huge winning trade so no trade here didn't touch after we have singapore jpy singapore jpy didn't touch the line and after it was inside the envelope so no trade and this is a trade we are right right now in so did it touch the stop loss Touch the level, it made 14 pips against us and the stop loss is 18. So we are still in a trade with a little drawdown and we wait for next week to see the result. CHF Singapore. The level was inside the envelope, exactly at the envelope, so I would not have taken it and I would have checked a price to, to get lower for this one. So I don't count the trade, but you you could have win this one a bit more for a bit more experienced trader. No, I have this one outside the first touch. So let's check what happened. Stop loss would have been 28 pips. 
add the first touch of this one 28 pips and it made only 20 pips so this is a losing trade so so far 8 wins 3 loss now let's check on CHF GPY nothing touch outside the envelope CAD GPY CAD GPY it's still running this is the entry point right here let me check yeah right here the stop loss is 23 it made only 10 pips against us and now it makes 60 so we are very near the, the target which is 66 so we are 6 pips away only from the target to make 3 reward I don't count it but it's a likely winning winning trade CHF, cat CHF uh, I could have placed a level right here but I didn't so it's not a trade and it was very nice rejection now let's look at Australian dollar pairs GBP odd, no trade, Euro odd <laughs> Your odd was a very nice one too. Let me check this one. So, add exactly just after the envelope you have this level, but it made only one one reward, 0.5, something like that, maybe two. Let me check. Yeah, so it touched here, and it made <coughs> 60, which is around two reward, and after it lost. So I count this as a loss, but you could have been break even on this one, which is the likeliest case and didn't touch the next level but as you can see the next level made uh, 250 pips with a stop loss of 35 9 reward awesome one now let's look at odd singapore odd singapore didn't touch anything outside the envelope odd gpy uh, actually what happened inside the envelope for this line so no trade and this one is a trade stop loss is 22 and we are maximum at 18 so we are still in a trade around break even nothing to count so far odd new zealand this one was inside the envelope so no trade so far during the week odd chf nothing touch odd cad um, inside the envelope so no trade and odd the usd one for last week we can eventually count it as a loss as a loss yeah it made 17 stop loss would have been uh, 12 13 15 so yeah it break so we have one loss on odd usd so we are done on the profile for the pending orders so less trade this week eight win and five losses so eight times three reward 24 reward minus 5 which make it 19 reward times 2 percent which make it 38 percent profit so the pending order last week made 38 percent profit and the swing trading strategy made 60 percent profit we are just talking about one week trading with my analysis so I hope you understand how it works and you can verify by yourself that all the results are always true. There is no lie here, always honesty. So if you want to join, subscribe on my Facebook group or contact me on Telegram. Have a nice day. I wish you success. Bye. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.